On the morning of Sunday 10th March 2019, the world was treated to sad news when an Ethiopian airline crashed moments after takeoff. Over 150 occupants were killed, attracting condolences from across the globe, with Ugandan members of parliament being the latest to offer sympathies. It is indeed um, a sad moment, uh, losing all those numbers of people. Um, it's really tragic. It's a big loss in the world, as you can see. Uh, the, 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 the losses has affected very many countries, including my former home country, Canada, which lost about 18 people. Sympathy, however, is not enough. In the wake of reports that some airline proprietors in Africa are operating on losses, a lesson or two have to be learned. Even us who are in the public service, we feel it is really necessary for our country to have our own aeroplane. But we also don't want to put the lives of our people in danger. Our resources have to be generously allocated to make sure that uh, mechanical conditions are dealt with, that workers are motivated, that everything is functioning well. Without that, when it happens, it is... As you can see, it's a real tragedy. It's hard many times to save lives. This also applies to Uganda, whose plans of reviving the Uganda Airlines are in high gear. Former leader of opposition in parliament, Winfred Kiza, wants government to go slow in order to avoid any instances similar to that of Ethiopian airline crash. Having seen what has happened with the Ethiopian airline, we feel the speed at which the minister is looking for money, and most especially through a supplementary, is just too high. It will not enable the members of the committee to first do due diligence as to whether the issue that we are going to procure is of good quality and therefore can guarantee the lives of our people. We want the aeroplane as a country, we need it as a people, but also we want to ensure that the lives of our people are safe and secure. The Nairobi Kenya bound plane went down within minutes of taking off, crushing dead 157 people on Sunday morning. It is reported that among the dead included seven crew members and one security official, among other victims from 35 nations. Henry Okrut, UBC.